So now let's talk about long division on polynomials. Polynomial long division has a polynomial being divided by something. This other something is another polynomial. In this case, it's a linear. I meant something like a, it could be quadratic, quor, uh, quartic, cubic, doesn't matter. Uh, but in this case, long division, we're doing a linear uh, di di uh, divisor. So what we want to do is put our polynomial that we're dividing into inside the division bar, because we're dividing by the 2x plus 3. We put that on the outside, 2x plus 3. And on the inside, we put our 4x to the third plus 26x squared plus 16x minus 21. Now, keeping in mind how we multi uh, did long division with integers in elementary school or decimals, what have you, the idea was you looked at the first couple of digits and then try to figure out how the thing goes into those first couple digits. Well, that's not the way it works with polynomials. What you do is you look at the first term of what you're dividing by and look at the first term or one term at a time with what you're dividing into. And you ask yourself up top, what would you multiply by the 2x to get exactly 4x to the third? And then the answer to that question is a very simple 2 but then you need the x to go up a couple powers. So that's going to be 2x squared. 2x squared would multiply by 2x to get you 4x to the third. So that's exactly what you want to do. But now you just distribute it to the 3 also. And the 3, you tag it along right next to here. And we get plus 6x squared. Then we're kind of in a very similar process with what we did in elementary school. The only difference is instead of just subtracting, again, I've been trying to emphasize you actually multiply by negative value with this quantity. And then we take and distribute that negative into the binomial to make it a negative 4x to the third and a negative 6x squared. The first two terms should always cancel if you did it right, so that's gone. And then we take our 26x squared and we subtract 6 to get 20x squared. And then just like elementary school, you bring down your next term, just like you would have brought down the next digit. And then we go ahead and repeat the process. So the algorithm is just a repetition from now. We decide from the first term, the 2x out in front, what do you multiply by to get the 20x? And that needs a plus 10 and one more degree on the variable, so 10x. Then you take that 10x and follow through and distribute it to the two terms out in front and write those products down below. So I say 2x times 10x would have given me 20x squared, and 10x times 3 would have given me 30x. And then, just like elementary school, we need this value to be subtracted, so we distribute a negative into it. So that's going to be a negative 20 and a negative 30. And then as you add vertically, the first two terms will subtract to be a zero. And then we've got 16 minus 30, which should get me a negative 14 X. And to finish the problem, we bring down our negative 21, our last process through the algorithm. And we look at the two, and we look at the negative 14 and we decide what I multiply a two by to get a negative 14 and that should give me a negative seven. And we take that negative seven and distribute it to the two terms out in front, bring the product down below and that should give me a negative 14 X and a negative 21. Now these values are exactly the same and that's what we want if we're hoping for it to be a factor because the last step is you subtract and when you subtract, these signs will change. So this will be a positive 14 and a positive 21, which means that when I add, the result is zero. Now, a result of zero means the remainder is zero. That's your little r, your remainder. And if the remainder is zero, it means that 2x plus 3 is a factor of this polynomial up above. Now, what that means is, is my result of division could be written in factored form with 2x plus 3. And I could say that 4x to the third plus 
x squared plus 16x minus 21 can effectively be factored by 2x plus 3 times the result of my division, which is 2x squared plus 10x minus 7. So we're also going to be doing other things with division of polynomials concerning whether or not these numbers, these linear factors, are factors indeed or if they are not. And the whole thing comes down to whether or not you have a remainder of zero.